We're going to show you how to set up reflux apparatus today using the Quick Fit Kit. This is the first piece you'll be using. It's called a pear-shaped flask and you'll also be using a condenser. First of all, before you set up your equipment, you need to ensure that the glass joint on the condenser has got some silicone grease on. So all you do is take a tiny little bit and pop it on the glass joint. This is to stop it jamming. Next, you want to position your flask so that it sits above, well above, the Bunsen flame and that it's held securely in a clamp. Clamp the neck of the flask and not the body of the flask so that it's held firmly but not too tightly. Next you'll move this clamp up or down to position it where you want it. If you use a tripod as a rough measurement you want it slightly above the level of the tripod so that it's not right in the flame but the flame still reaches it. I'm just going to remove my flask again to add my reagents to it. We're going to do an oxidation of an alcohol, which is something I believe you've seen before. So. Once you have your reagents in the bottle, in the flask, you need to add some anti-bumping granules. E, G, These are just tiny little granules, and we put them in there to control the boiling of the mixture so it doesn't get too vigorous. You only need three or four, so just a tiny amount in the bottom of your flask. Then pop your flask back in the clamp, so it's held securely. Next, we're going to add the condenser. The condenser cools down the mixture as it evaporates so that it falls back into the flask so that you don't lose any of your mixture. Just put it gently in the top like that and it will hold itself. Take your bottom tube from your condenser and attach it to the cold tap, like so. Take the top tube of the condenser and leave it hanging in the sink. Always connect the bottom tube to the tap so that the condenser fills from the bottom so that you don't get any bubbles. Do you want to turn it on? Turn the tap on and you'll see it fill and it will come down this tube and you want a steady flow like this coming out at the end. Not too much, but you definitely need a flow. Okay, check everything that you've set up, that you're happy with it before you light your Bunsen. And then, holes closed on the Bunsen before you light it. Turn it onto a blue flame. And adjust it so that it's not too strong. One way you can, call, you can gently heat this is to put a tripod in the way with a gauze on top. You don't have to do this but it will give a gentler heat. Now, you can see the reaction mixture boiling, and if you look carefully, you can see it's, it's evaporating, it's meeting the coldness of the condenser, and it's being condensed back into the reaction mix. So I'm not losing any of that.
Once you've finished, take your Bunsen out, switch it off. The condenser will have stayed cold because it has cold water running through it, so that's safe to touch. But your reaction flask will be very hot, so leave it for a few minutes with a very careful handling it.